I am Our Lady J, and I am a writer producer currently on Pose. I used to be a classical pianist, and I found that I could have a much broader audience if I learned a newer art form that wasn't based in the 19th century. So I learned to write for television, and then I was hired by Jill Soloway to write for Transparent, and I went from staff writer to producer. And then Pose happened, and I jumped on board, and um, we're in our second season now, coming out June 9th. I get to tell stories of our community, uh, stories that I've known my whole life, stories my sisters have gone through, stories I've gone through, things that my ancestors have gone through, the women who made me the woman I am today. Um, and I get to put those into TV and make them entertaining and also educational. So every day I go to work feels like pride in some way. I'm always listening to what the community needs and where we need a spotlight shown. Um, and I try to put that into my shows. Stonewall 100, that's fascinating to think about. I really hope that we have more unity in another 50 years, where um, not just L LGBT folks will come out and celebrate, but I feel like I want the whole world to celebrate us in another 50 years. I think we need to remind ourselves that anything worth uh, fighting for is going to involve a lot of unpleasantries. I don't think it was fun to be at the riots uh, in Stonewall. They were, um, they were violent and it was a storm and I'm sure it was an emotional storm. And I think it's important to remember that in this current political climate, we are in an emotional storm, but we're going somewhere with the storm and uh, we're gonna get through it. And I wanna remind the young folks that, you know, everything passes and this moment is gonna pass as well. So if anyone is out there feeling like it's hell, um, it's, it is gonna get better. Being out has taught me that life is hard, but um, worth living. You know, the, the lows are lows and the highs are high when you are living your authentic self because there's a lot to risk. But not living in your authenticity is just like such a low vibration of dullness to me that it's worth the risk and it, um, because the rewards are, are so great and the love is out there and the light is, is worth reaching for.